welcome to my channel and today I'm going to paint this nice dog portrait in Adobe Photoshop and if you have seen my other tutorials you might be knowing that I share weekly a new digital painting tutorial in Adobe Photoshop so if you are here for that make sure you hit the subscribe button and let's begin of today's topic so here in Adobe Photoshop I am having this nice photograph of dog and you can see I am having two layers right now. So the process would be from making a sketch outline of this dog. So for that make a new layer, select the hard round pressure size brush, this one. Right now I am using the one by Wacom tablet and this is the very basic guys so if you are starting with the digital painting and you don't have any pen tablet I would recommend you to have this one because it's very easy and effective to use now with the black color in foreground and this brush selected this is the by default brush in Photoshop so you all might be having this with this selected I would make my brush size up to 10 pixels that would be good enough and we'll sketch out the outlines go as natural as you could and also make sure you don't pressurize your hand too much make a nice outline of a face, nose, eyes and lips also for his hairs I'm just having a wider outline so once done with your keeping the outlines like this it's now time to make another layer above of this layer and start painting for that I'm going to use magic wand select from the outline layer the place where I want to fill my color go to select modify expand and expand it by here 5 or 4 pixels now select the color bucket fill tool and hit with a particular color. For selecting the color I would use the eyedropper tool and select any of the required color from the photograph only. As you can see this color looks good so I am going to hit the icon of color bucket fill and fill it inside. To deselect hit ctrl D. So you can see we are done with our first basic paint. Remember to paint in another layer, not in the layer where we already had the sketch. Don't color in that layer, make a new layer, select from the sketch layer, color in that new layer to keep things clean. So similarly by repeating this process, I am going to paint the whole of the sketch in a new layer like this. Don't paint the eyes in this layer, keep it aside for a later time else I have painted everything drag and place it beside the photograph so we can see both of the photograph and our artwork now it's time to add some details make a new layer we will be adding this detail thing in our next layer not in the layer that we have painted with the colors so you can see here on him above his eyes here he is having different color of fur and somewhere the color changes time to time and place to place so according to the our reference picture select the color from there use the hard round brush that brush that we have already selected use that same brush and just make a stroke kind of style fur as you can see it depends on your strength on your pressure that you are putting so just keep in mind that you are having a light hand painting over there don't pressurize don't make your strokes go in certain angle or something very perfect because as natural you would go it will be better and in the results if you don't like some colors at some places you can just control Z and make new colors select over there so for his nose area also I added some of the black fur over there 
use eyedropper tool to select the different colors from the reference image and the brush tool to paint over here in your artwork. Keep on painting from his whole face, ears, his hairs, everything. Overlap with different color strokes like I did here the dark brown in the below and layered it over with the a lighter brown color and now with a gray one so that this will increase the density it will not just make one color shape or it will not just lower the strength of your artwork it will just bring the more natural kind of look now i'm using a darker gray and a black to keep on painting for his rest of the places keep in mind that you have play Keep in mind that you are painting in the half of his face. As you can see he is like a symmetrical one on the both side. So I am just, so just working on his half of his face making all the nicer details of his furs and everything change your color time to time I would I can't stress it out more just that keep changing your colors time to time to give it a very very natural look once if you think that it is very much brighter or very much darker over somewhere you can just switch to another color and balance it see how our artwork is getting into the mood of a nice furry thing for making a longer strokes go natural go don't pressurize that you have to go from the starting to the end point in one go just keep overlapping with different colors overlapping with a single color each time it will give some more interesting look and results now once done with the sketching of the details, it's time to make a duplicate. So how to do it? With the rectangle mark you tool, select half of your portrait. Select the basic portrait base color layer and just hit Ctrl J. Now we select this half done thing and the half done base layer on half done detail layer both of the layers and hit another ctrl j to make a copy of these two layers and with the transform tools i am just making a duplicate and reflecting it on the other side to make the things clear i am just deleting the extra layers that i already have here and with the side just adjust it yes so that it attached to the prior one seamlessly now uh, to adjust his hands I would select both of his hands from the uh, particular layers using the magic wand tool making a control J so that it is all in the new layer and delete from the older layers now selecting the new layer hands I am just adjusting it little upwards so that it is attached to his body now with the layer I will make a new layer at the lower below all other layers paint it with the darker his body color so that it looks attached there is no white space now making some few more furs and finishing touches to his longer beard style hairs as you can see in the portrait it's somewhere highlighted very pretty white so I am just trying to duplicate that effect in our artwork too now making some more hairy style for his hands select that darker color of his body color and just paint a few hair style because it's very less, less hair on his arms so I am just painting like that I hope your portraits of your pets are also getting so nicer look 
you can use this symmetrical style idea for your portraits if your photograph is also very symmetrical in a style now make a new layer below all other layers this will be for his eyes and start painting with the black color in that eye gaps make some borders and now with a darker brown color as you can see his eyeball is of a darker brown color I am just going to make a big circle paint over there make a bigger size of the brush and click make a new layer right click and make a clipping mask to the older layers let's zoom in to have a clear look that I am adding nicer tone of black and gray highlights to make eyeballs you can see his eyeball is having different shades of black of white so I'm trying to duplicate those add a final touch of the sparkling highlights to his eyes to make it more more attractive and natural so just with the smaller size brush only and select the complete white color like this add two dots so that these are the spot highlights for his eyes and this will make his eyes go much more natural duplicate those set of layers of his eyes and reflect it place it on the other side now it's time to give some details to his mouth side so that his lips his mouth gets a predefined style as it's quite blurry in the photograph so we are not going to give define it too much and again it's time to give some shadows to his portrait so again make a new layer in the below layer of all others and make uh, some strokey shadows like he is on something he's sitting on something so make the shadows go like that to complete this whole look I'm just going to add a solid color so selecting that same color with the color bucket fill make a new layer below all other as a last layer and this is done we are done with our pet portrait in this fun way we are using just one brush in adobe photoshop giving all the detail of his first and everything so i hope you also achieve the same look and if you find this lesson interesting make it sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss a video update